Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, another PvP video. Basically, I'm going to be playing with the Royal Mages today. This is a new deck to Duel Links, well, essentially the Jasmine, Rosemary, and I believe Aroma Garden cards are new. I think we've had Bergamot for a while. But basically, this is a deck that you can get entirely through the card trader, as far as the core cards go. This entire top row is completely free in terms of gems spent and money spent into packs, because basically you just get every single card from the card trader. Uh, so basically the only other thing you're gonna be spending money or gems on is the other 10 cards in your deck now This is the deck this uh, this is the deck list I'm gonna be playing today uh, I have been testing a lot with this deck. It's a lot of fun to play It plays like a weird gladiator beast dinosaur hybrid sort of deck uh, Because like your things trigger when you gain life so that's sort of like the GB's tagging in and out But then like rosemary is really big and so it's a very powerful normal summon, so it sort of has that like dinosaur aspect as well. I'm running it with balance with just Aroma Gardens as my spells because I want to see Garden as soon as possible. The only other skill I'd consider running is possibly Restart if you wanted to play more of a higher spell lineup like with Super Rushes and Econs and stuff to make your Hazy matchup and your Cyber Angel matchup easier. But basically this deck plays like a slow control based deck. Uh, it has almost no problem with burn or stall decks because you get to Garden and you just start, you know, swinging into things and like erratic. In invalidating them essentially like you swing into things like uh, like warm worms or four star ladybugs or man eater bugs uh, you can swing over Sangha if your opponent three star emotion sets this uh, set Sangha you can swing over with rosemary plus the field spell and Sangha can't trigger that's actually pretty relevant as well uh, but basically you can play the deck however you want but it's very very cheap to get just the top 10 cards, the top row that I've got here. Uh, I wouldn't play the deck with, um, I wouldn't play the deck with any of the skills that, like, let you start with higher life, because those aren't the best effects of your monsters, um, and basically, like, there, there's a few different ways you could play the deck, but I think playing it like a slow control-based option is probably what would let it see the most amounts of success. But basically, I'm on the, uh, KC Cup PvP ladder right now in, uh, dual level max, so it's basically, like, playing through King of Games or whatever, uh, and basically just seeing what we can mess around with. And I'll probably try to get like four or five games for this video, just to like give you guys an idea of like how this deck plays. Depends, because these games do tend to be a little bit drawn out because of the way the deck plays. Okay, so this sort of matchup would normally be really stressful if you were playing anything but this deck, but it's really easy. <laughs> Because Aroma Garden is just once per turn, gain 500. Like, it's so easy to actually just, like, manage this uh, matchup. And my opponent's probably playing this Endless Trap Hell stall deck, uh, which is perfectly fine. Because I could draw into Zing Zang Hu, lock these down, attack with stuff. This Temple of the Mind's Eye is actually working in my favor because it's making my Jasmine do more damage. Um, I could even normal summon Rosemary and try to swing for uh, with two of them. Uh, unsure. I think I want to keep the Rosemary in my hand and just swing with Jasmine. Because, at this point, I've got Rosemary plus a Garden in my hand. There's probably nothing that's going to happen to the Garden on my field. But, if I put the Rosemary on the field, I could get Lava Golems, and that would be not a good time for me. And it would basically put me on I have to draw into a monster. Uh, the only thing that I would ever do to put the Rosemary on the field is if I drew into, like, Bergamot. Because that would mean that I'd be able to, like, tribute the Lava Golem for Bergamot. The one of Bergamot that I play in my deck. But basically, this deck does not have any problems with Burn. Okay, so let's see, now there's a set monster there. So now I'm actually going to summon Rosemary. Because that's either something that's going to mill me, like a Warm Worm. Or it's something uh, that Zing Zang Hu is very powerful as well. Um, it's either something that's going to mill me. Or... It's like a Doom Dog that would search Lava Golem, but Rosemary shuts that effect off. So it's it's super powerful to be able to do this. So we'll get another draw from Jasmine, just getting value. Value upon value. Uh, and that's a Wall of Disruption. Not too applicable in this matchup. Neither is the Curse of Anubis or the Windstorm. I'm not quite sure why I set them, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but I will Normal Summon this. And I'll set the Zing Zang. And we'll attack with this and see where it goes. Uh, the thing is, I could attack with this as well because this is just any plant monsters that attack. Uh, so like, it gets really powerful when you like have Rosemary plus Bergamot out. Like that's that's when things get kind of insane. Uh, but so okay, a draining shield that was very obvious. Um, but the thing is, now he has higher life than me, 
so this effect is not live. So, we're gonna end turn. We're gonna wait and see if he sets a card. If he sets a card, then I'm just gonna flip over the cur uh, the Zing Zang Hu on uh, both of them, and then we should be free to do whatever we want to do because we can Aroma Garden, and then Aroma Garden isn't a hard once per turn either. So I could just go ahead and activate another one next turn and get another 500 boost. Uh, I won't get my Jasmine or Rosemary effects again because those are once per turns. Ah, he's got the Lava Golem. Okay. Fair. Uh, setting that. Okay, well, you're going to get Zing Zang Hood now. So, Zing Zang Hood on both of these. Doesn't matter if the one is chainable because if he chains it, then it just. It, the Zing Zang Hood locks down the other one. So, we'll lock those down. Aroma Monster. That's not an Aroma Monster. Shit. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a thousand for foreseeably no reason other than just to take it. And so we'll attack into this. What is this? Sphere Karibo. What an odd thing to set. You could have kept that in your hand. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. Sure. Uh, but So what I need to do is I need to draw into any Aroma Monster... Because if I draw into Bergamot, that's the best one. Yes! Perfect! Because now I can just tribute this Lava Golem for Bergamot, uh, and then I can gain life points and start getting back up to where I need to be. I can even do it twice. And I think I will. Yes, I would love to tribute this. Tribute the Lava Golem. And so now I can just activate this, start gaining that life back that I lost. It's very slow to play this deck. But, it's also very, very, um, like, easy to just start, like, dealing with burn. Like, these burn stall decks are not going to do anything to you, because as long as you can keep out an aroma monster, you're just going to continuously gain 500 every turn. Like, the thing that makes those decks, like, annoying is when they start doing, like, golden ladybug shenanigans to stay alive, that works for you now, too, because you have aroma garden. So, my opponent is just ending his turn over and over again. And the thing is, if I draw into another Zing Zang Hu, I will probably just burn my Curse of Anubis. Uh, like, 100%. There's, there's no reason for me to... There's no reason for me to uh, do it now. But, so, let's see, we're already back up at 4k after taking two Lava Golem burns. So we'll attack now. If I draw, another, if I draw my second Zing Zang, I'm definitely going to put it on the board. Uh, via some method. Just not sure what it would be through. The thing is, I could also just flip my Curse of Anubis and set my Floodgate if I wanted to normal summon this Rosemary, because then if I got Lava Golem a second time, I could just Floodgate the Lava Golem. But as it stands, now I'm back to where my life points are higher than my opponent's, so now my effects are going off. In terms of my stuff. Mirror Wall. Not ideal. So what I'm going to do... Because I'm going to go ahead and burn this Curse of Anubis, just to free up space, because it's not applicable in this matchup at all. And I am going to set the Floodgate. I'm going to set Floodgate, and I'm going to summon uh, Rosemary. I can then gain with Aroma uh, Garden, and Rosemary will turn my Bergamot back to attack mode. Oh, okay, never mind. At this point, I just don't care. I'm just going to leave it in defense mode, I guess. Normal summon. Uh, and the thing is, like, Massive Morph on this doesn't really matter, because if you ever set a monster, this thing now has Piercing, because I have higher life than you. So, we're just going to keep gaining life. But this is a very slow deck to play. It's definitely not something I would play if you want fast games. <laughs> but it's definitely something that's uh, it's interestingly it's interesting enough to play, and you don't have to worry about these stall decks. Like, I'm not sitting here agonizing over any of the decisions that I'm having to make. None at all. There's no agonizing decisions being made here. It's literally all, I'm just doing my thing. I'm gaining life. We're almost back to 5k. Setting a card and passing. Okay. The biggest issue I have is the potential of decking out. That's the biggest potential here. Uh, is because he is playing more cards than me, and he is playing an Endless Trap Hell stall deck. Because, like, that's guaranteed the skill that he's playing, is Endless Trap Hell. But so, we'll just put this into defense mode. And that'll gain a thousand attack again. I mean, not like it matters, but... Go into battle phase, attack with this. What? What's the card? Rainbow life? Alright. 
I'm okay with that. I'm still higher than you. <laughs> no, none of it matters. Well, actually, did you only gain... You only gained uh, a thousand, yeah, because of the temple. That's such a bad way to deal with business. At least Draining Shield would give you the full 23. But because you were only going to take a thousand, you only gained a thousand back. Hilarious. I was fully ready for you to, like, go up by 2300 and have to, like, deal with it. Alright, that's another Rosemary. Okay. So, Jar of Avarice. Okay, well that card, the, the, there's nothing. Wait, you're, are, you have to be playing Endless Trap Hell, and it's live. Why are you not doing that? You didn't activate a skill at the start of this game. You're playing Endless Trap Hell. I know you are. You're not going to fool me into thinking that you aren't. So we'll just activate these. I can hit with both these Rosemary's, uh, and then next turn I'll just be able to... This is just gonna... I hate that Rosemary is mandatory. That's the biggest thing that I dislike, is that all these effects on life point gain are mandatory. <laughs> Shit! Alright, well this might be like a two game video because like we're already 12 minutes in and we're still in the first game because my opponent's playing a stall deck and I sort of match his pace, but other decks that you play against like Dino or GB or whatever, you usually end the game a lot faster because you're not having to deal with these infinite trap cards that are designed for you not to play. So let's see, what else do we have to deal with? <sighs> Where is my second Zing Zang? That would be like the best. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the second Aroma Garden. There's no reason for me not to, right? Just gain another, uh, gain another 500 casually. So yeah, this will flip. This will go forward, backward, front, back, side to side. Front, front, back, back. Side to side. Alright. So we'll activate this. We'll gain another 500. These things will go up again. Um, this is going to be problematic if he has Draining Shield. If, like, that's the card that he drew. But if it's not, then we're fine. Oh, Wall of Disruption. Well, that does nothing. Because these still have attack points. <laughs> I randomly played Aroma Garden on the turn that he got Wall of Disruption. And if they had zero attack, then that would have done nothing. Uh, they would have they would have done zero damage because Temple of the Mind's Eye won't make zero into a thousand, but they had four hundred because of the aroma gain. Amazing. Sometimes I know how to next level myself. All right. So. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you just don't worry about stall. Those stall burn decks. If you don't want to worry about them, play aromas, because you will one hundred percent make them angry, because they're like shit. I already didn't want to play the game, and now my opponent is gaining life. What do I do? We don't like burn players around here. Burn players can literally go die. <laughs> You're literally holding me hostage against my will. Trying to make me sit here and play with you. For my time. Let's hopefully play against something a little bit better. Alright, so... <sighs> Let's hope this is a better, 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 better matchup in terms of like I'd rather play against like dinos. I play against whatever. Okay, Kaiba. All right, you're either playing Hazy Phoenix. If you're playing Phoenix, that's gonna be a fucking struggle. Or if you're playing the Dragon deck, then I guess we're, I guess we're okay. Balance. Duel. Oh my god. He's playing something with beatdown. Me no likey. All right, so I'll set this Jasmine. I need a Roma Garden. I'm I'm just, I'm always I'm currently leaning more towards the side of playing uh, with um, what'd you target my Zing Zang? <laughs> um, I'm more toward I'm leaning more towards the uh, towards the side of uh, playing with the um, the the balance skill instead of playing with uh, instead of playing with uh, or not balance restart instead of playing with balance uh, because you can at least like put your hand back and draw into Aroma Garden potentially. Okay. Well, you're not playing Aroma Strat, so you sh I mean, you're gonna call Monster, probably. If you call anything other than Monster, you're a cheater. Alright. Yep, yeah, okay. Monster. Cool. So he gets his Cerberus back for free! Oh, he got back Raven. Odd choice, but okay. I can respect it. To a degree. Alright. Now, this matchup is gonna be hard. 
This matchup is going to be very hard. I'm going to flip this. Uh, are you going to attack with the Raven? Or not? Nah? You are. Good. I'll take that free amount of damage. Sure. Yes. Okay. Aroma Garden. Good. All right. So now I need to normal summon this because I need to draw two. I 100% need extra cards here. Especially since this... I mean, thank God that hit the Zing Zang Hu because his deck probably plays no sets. He's not... He's playing the Fire Formation, uh, Fire Fist version. Uh, okay. Cool! This works! Yes! So now this Rosemary is going to be bigger than the Sphinx, which I can then kill it. Um, perfect. I am 100% okay with this occurrence. Yes. Battle Phase will kill this. You don't get to activate anything if you do have Sphere Karibo. You don't get to activate any of it. Rosemary, no Sphere Karibo for you. Attack, no Sphere Karibo for you. Alright, so I've got another Jasmine in hand, so my opponent needs to out both my Jasmines for me not to at least draw a card next turn. So, that's refreshing. So, okay, Tensu for Raven. Do you have another Sphinx in your hand? Are you that broken? Okay, no, you have Periton. And Periton does nothing. <laughs> okay, Gyoku, cool. Periton does nothing for you. You kill one of my Jasmines, and that's it. Good. Good shit. Okay, so I thought this was going to be a problem, but no. It turns out this is going to be just the easiest. And now I'm going to gain life and draw another card off Jasmine. I'm going to change this to defense mode off Rosemary, just cuz. Thank you, Aroma Garden, for triggering when your shit gets destroyed. That's a draining shield. Uh, that does nothing against the Periton, but it might do something in the future. Okay, Aroma Garden. Cool. I'll normal summon this. Change this to attack position. Uh, activate the effect. So I'll draw two more cards off my Jasmines. The Rosemary will change itself to defense mode. And then I'll turn it back to attack mode. Uh, and then I'll probably play the second Aroma Garden as well. Just to go ahead and gain more life. And uh, everything will be all hunky-dory. That's a wall of disruption too. That's really good. So yeah, this is... <laughs> this, is this was easy. I thought this matchup was going to be really hard. But the Jasmines got me there. As it usually does. So I'll set this. And I'll set this. And then we'll go into battle phase. Boom. Oh, so Rosemary attacks over that. And then these are game. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. Good. Alright, so that's that's the second game. We're, we're far enough into where I could call the video here. But I'll go for one more game. Just to give you more of a sample size. You always want more sample sizes with this deck. That's what you want. You want a larger sample size with any deck. Not even just this deck. You want to know everything that you can figure out early on. Um, with how the deck operates. All that sort of stuff. This is going to be another hazy matchup. Really not looking forward to playing these. I mean, if I'm going first, I guess. Yeah, it's another hazy matchup. Amazing. <sighs> Alright, well. Normal Summon Jasmine. Activate Aroma Garden. Uh, gain 5, draw a card. Set the Zing Zang Hu and hope that I draw a back row that's relevant against Hazy. That's relevant against Hazy. I will take that one. I believe you'll find. I will take that one. <laughs> uh, but so. Ow. Ooh. Whole body is sore and stiff. Too much gym time. Okay. So. The only thing I don't want to happen is I don't want to get soul exchanged. But I'd actually kind of be okay with that, now that I'm thinking about it. Because if he soul exchanges me, I could just summon my other Jasmine. That would not even really be that big of a problem. Now, I want to be able to zigzag here with two cards. Okay, just summoning Cerberus. Nothing much to worry about there. Set one. Come on, one more. One more. Hell yeah! Alright, my opponent's battle phase. I'm going to Curse of Anubis. I'm going to draw two cards next turn off these Jasmines. So, that's 100% okay with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chain this. Just so that I don't accidentally miss the window, even though I shouldn't, because I've got auto on. And it should ask me in the end phase, but we're just going to do this just in case. Just in case. So, draw... Another Zing Zang Hu. Not what I really want. Not important. But, 
What we will do is we will use this. We'll draw two cards because Jasmine is a once per turn effect, not a hard once per turn. So we'll get that. Awesome! Those are two really good traps against Hazy. Amazing! All right, so we'll set these two. And then we'll attack. He'll get his search off of this. I'm not too worried about that. Kind of wish I'd drawn Rosemary instead of, like, the Zing Zang Hu, because then he wouldn't get the search. But, hey, you can't win them all. And I would have a normal summon for it, too, because Jasmine lets me get an additional normal summon if my life points are higher, which they are. But I've still got the Mirror Wall, and I've got Wall of Disruption. Those are both very valuable options. Uh, there's a Sphinx in my opponent's hand, but their hand seems to be shit, because they keep passing. These cards are probably like Hazy Glory and Beast Rising, which is perfect. We'll take those. If that's what we locked down, we'll take it. But so we'll use these to gain two more cards. I like how they chain to each other. There's a Rosemary. Hell yeah. Summon. <laughs> Beat down. Uh, this is game, isn't it? That's uh, 2935. Yeah. Hell yeah. Game. Can't even sphere Kareem with me either because of Rosemary. Perfect! This matchup's really hard though if you don't draw Zing Zang Hu. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's a lot of cards in this deck that do nothing to Hazy, like the Draining Shields, um, like the Rosemary can't even turn it down to defense mode. I'm not playing Super Rushes. There's a lot of shit that I cannot do against Hazy. <laughs> but, I mean, hell. Sometimes you just get them. If you get the if you get the Zing Zang Hu off really early, and you start stacking up with a lot of draws um, off of Jasmine's, it's pretty easy. Basically, that is the deck. Uh, it's a very interesting deck. I definitely recommend you try it out because if you already have most of these cards, then these, like I said, are free. You just have to keep refreshing the card trader over and over again until you get them. They are basically free to you. Uh, but it's a really cool deck. It's a really fun deck. It's very controlish based. Very uh, it, you don't play. Um, you don't have a bad time against Burn, that was the thought I was going for. So definitely try it out if you're interested. Uh, I don't see a lot of people talking about this deck or doing coverage on it, even though it is a, a pretty cool YouTube deck. But anyway, thanks for watching guys as always. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in connecting with me through Twitch or Facebook or whatever. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video. But now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else supporting in the lower tiers. You guys help make what I'm doing here continue to be possible. You have my eternal gratitude, as always, and you're forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.